love chocolate candy. In fact, I still actually really love chocolate, but since my son was diagnosed with food allergies, we can't do dairy anymore, we can't do eggs anymore, and we can't do nuts anymore, which takes out one of my absolute favorite desserts, which was a chocolate peanut butter cup. However, I have a treat for you. We are going to remake a peanut butter cup and we're gonna make it healthier with an allergy-friendly twist. It's gonna be gluten-free, it's gonna be vegan, but above all, it's going to be delicious. We only need a few ingredients for this recipe, which is awesome. So we have chocolate chips. These are vegan chocolate chips. And just so you know what kind I'm using, today we are using Enjoy Life. They are top eight allergen-free. And you can find these anywhere from Walmart to Target. You can find them online through their own website or even Amazon.com. But I love using them because one, these mini chips are awesome. They melt perfectly and they're easy to eat by the handfuls as well. So we're gonna go ahead and microwave this real quick. Okay, now we have our melted chocolate chips. This is all it is, so it's one easy step. And if you don't like using the microwave, that's okay. You can use your double boiler method, which is typically what I like to do. So simply just put a little bit of water in your pan, put your bowl on top of it, and just let it start to heat up, and all of this will start to melt. And you can just stir it that way. That's another great way to do it if you don't want to use your microwave. So now from here, we are going to fill the bottoms of our cups. So I already have them lined and ready to go. And so all we're gonna be using is basically a spoonful of chocolate. Literally like, you know, the whole a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Yeah, so does a spoonful of chocolate, right? But there's a few recipes already on the blog and if you've ever had a chance to look at Allergy Delicious yet, you will know that I enjoy chocolate desserts. What I love about desserts is that, you know, when you're diagnosed with a food allergy or maybe you have food restrictions um, because of a choice, if you went vegan for, you know, any particular reason, you know there's certain things you can't eat. And so when you go to celebrations, holidays, um, parties, you know, everything is revolving around food. And so desserts are a huge part of that. And why do you miss out on all the fun when you can be eating something delicious, right? So that's what we're here for, to show you how to make delicious foods that are safe to eat and that just make your heart happy. What you wanna do though real quick is see how it's just kind of sitting there in the bottom of the cups. I'm gonna use the back end of my spoon and just kind of push it around to the sides. I wanna make sure that I have the bottoms of this covered so that there's no empty spots and it's the perfect place for the filling to sit on top. We are just gonna set aside the extra because we need that for the top. So I'm gonna put that aside and we are gonna work on the middle filling part. So with this, typically somebody would use peanut butter. You could use almond butter if you have an aversion to sunflower seeds, but I like to use sun butter. It's what my family uses for everything. I mean, we literally can lick it off a spoon. It's so good. They have natural, they have organic, they have crunchy. There's so many variations of it, but we are just gonna use the natural. My son likes the one with the yellow the best, and so that's the one we use for most of our recipes. So here we have our sun butter. We are going to Actually, we're gonna microwave this together with a little bit of coconut oil. So let's make sure we get all of that in there. A little bit of coconut oil. And again, we are just gonna heat this up so it all melts nice and together. Just because now I'm going to add in a little bit of protein powder. Now this is a vegan protein powder. I choose vanilla. It just goes really well with anything. You just wanna find your favorite one that you like to use, and we are gonna blend this in. Because not only do we get to enjoy a sun butter cup, but we're gonna make it a little bit healthier, which is why we're adding in the protein. So just stir that up real good. You can see it's just mixing all up in there. And as soon as everything's incorporated inside, we are gonna then add this on top of our chocolate 
and this is going to be our filling. So again, we're going to fill them up. Okay, the very last step now that you have your filling inside is just filling it up once again with your chocolate. It doesn't have to be as thick as the bottom base. We just want to make sure you have a nice layer on top. So we are just going to go ahead and do that again. This is really easy recipe, no bake, other than a few little steps of melting and you will have the most delicious, allergy friendly, vegan, gluten free, chocolate sun butter cups. And the one thing that I like to add to our sun cups is just a little sprinkling of this sea salt. The thicker sea salt, the better. Otherwise, it's just like putting on table salt. But just adding this little bit adds such this intriguing taste to it. It almost makes this dessert more of an adult treat than a little kid dish. So we're just going to go ahead and clean up these cups refrigerate for a few more minutes and then I'll show you exactly what you get in the end. Delicious chocolatey on the top with all that little bit of salt on there and look you can see little hints of the sun butter running right through that. These are so good. Yeah they're delicious. Come here mom you want to try one? Sure. I was waiting for you to ask me that. <laughs> They're really good. And guys, if you're looking for the full recipe and all the ingredient amounts, it's good, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> if you want the full recipe, again, go to allergylicious.com and look for our chocolate sun butter cup. And also there you'll find a ton of other allergy friendly and vegan your belly's happy and make your day even brighter. So until then, here's to more 